Basket Vol fans. I'm here with VFL Mickey Marvin, who was a guard for the Vols from 1973 to 1976. You also won two Super Bowls with the Raiders, and now you're a scout for the Raiders. What has that transition been like from player to scout? Well, for me personally, you know, after finishing my career here and playing for 11 years for the Raiders, Al Davis, who was the owner of the Raiders, had offered me the job in college scouting about halfway through my career. And when I got cut in training camp in my 12th year in 1988, true to his word, he gave me the job, uh, put me on the road three weeks later. My first boss with the Raiders was Ron Wolf, of course, who went to Green Bay Packers as their GM and did historical things with Reggie White, another former volunteer, and of course, Brett Favre and a lot of great players up there. But he had helped Mr. Davis build the Raiders uh, when he came there in 1963. But it, obviously, uh, you know, working for Ron, working for Mr. Davis, and and just, you know, you play football your life, you know, to get to that highest level. And and I, and thank God I was fortunate enough to do that. Tell me what you think about Team 118 out here. Well, I'm excited. I, I love Butch Jones, uh, love his staff, uh, you know, uh, people are hungry in, in uh, big orange country for, uh, you know, to get back to our winning ways. And, uh, and we have the right, uh, we have the right head coach, right staff, uh, you know, they're recruiting fine players and, and, and it's not going to be very long. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of positive energy out there. What's your favorite part about being back? There, I, I have a whole lot of emotions when I come back on this campus. Uh, I will tell you this, you know, you, you mentioned playing in the two Super Bowls, winning those as a member of the Oakland Raiders when we beat the Eagles in Super Bowl 15, Los Angeles Raiders when we beat the uh, Washington Redskins in Super Bowl 18. Uh, but running through the tee, oh my goodness, I did that as a freshman against Duke in 1973, my last game when we played Kentucky in 1976. That opening in college football I think is unparalleled.